Welcome back to part three. So I have spared you the time of looking at me disassemble, disassemble the baby George Foreman to remove this gear assembly. This gear is the important one. It is a half moon shape. This is a, let's see, 120 volt, 4 watt, I'm looking for RPMs, but 3, oh, 3 revolutions per minute, there we go, 3R slash M, okay, well that definitely lets me know what this will do, but what I'm trying to do is lay out where it will lie on the back here. Now, I have done some takeoffs and I need to go down inch and five eighths and over to the right three quarters of an inch, but I don't have any tools to help me do this except math. Now, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm since I can't find any string, I'm going to strip this wire out <laughs> and pull out one of the conductors. And I'm going to measure the circ circumference of the pot. Given that I have a center line of the pot, albeit how accurate or not it is, it is my center line. I'm going to find a quarter of the circumference. And I'm going to lay that out. That will give me my second point of reference or my exact bottom of the pot so that I can draw a straight edge as a line of reference to go down inch and five eighths and then go over three quarters of an inch. So I have my white wire here. I'm going to measure it now. Let's do it together, why don't we? So I'll straighten it out a little bit on my handy dandy bench right here. Make sure we get as accurate of a measurement as we can. It'd be too easy to have the right tools to do this. So, try to make sure that it is level all the way around. I would, was really anal about it, I would mark down an inch all the way around or something to that effect. But, nah. close enough. Alright, so I'm going to cut this and we will have our circumference. is this is an exciting video isn't it exciting how about I transpose this to <laughs> a stable object why don't we all right there we go right there right there our circumference is 30 and 5 eighths. 30 and 5 eighths. So that is 7 and a half plus a quarter of 5 eighths. So if we, to half a fraction, we double the denominator, that's 5 sixteenths. So half of 5 sixteenths would be. 5 30 seconds. One and a half plus 5 30. I don't lost you. I don't lost everybody viewing right now. <laughs> so, a quarter. Inch and three quarters. Inch and three quarters, right? 430 seconds is, no, 430 seconds is 1 eighth. So, eighth. So, it'd be uh, eighth. One and a half plus an eighth is inch and five eighths. Inch and I should stop the video. I really should. I need him. What did I say this was? 
was. Thirty five eighths. Oh, no, it looks like a one. Uh, Thirty and five eighths. So it's just seven and a half. Oh, seven. See, that looked like a one right there. My dang pen. Seven and a half plus. Six thirty two would be. Two would be three sixteenths. Three sixteenths. So seven and a half and three sixteenths be seven and just under seven and three quarter. Well, that was about five minutes of math. That's disgusting. That's disgusting. Seven and three quarter. So let's cut seven and three quarters, why don't we? Exciting, exciting video. My God, it's exciting. I will just make a mark with my handy dandy <laughs> marker. And let's get around on here. As we go on, get around here. Like Rick. Like Rick. Oh man, it's amazing how math works like that. Isn't it? Look at there. Look at there. I know you can't hardly see it, but it's right. So now I'm gonna take a straight edge. So, y'all join me up here. Y'all join me up here, why not? I'll go ahead and make this mark. To get my thinner on. God, exciting video. That was the timer. Sorry. So, here's our axis right here. We're down inch and five eighths. We're over three quarters of an inch. Perfect. So, let me get this drilled out and uh, get it put in. But that'll be on the next video. This math lesson was brought to you by coffee.